みなさんこんにちは、ジェイリング・サッカベイです。今日のレッスンの目的は、でっていう女子ですね。これが使えるようになりましょう。So today's lesson is all about the particle で、and using it to show the means or the method for how an action occurs. Let's go ahead and real quick look at one beginner mistake that is really frustrating for me.、Um, sometimes people add des after mas.、Um, there's a couple reasons why this doesn't work out. First of all, des it means like is, are, am, some form of to be, right? Now that's already a verb. It would be like having a verb then adding is after it. So this example we have here says, Shunsuke wa mai nichi asa gohan ni mitsu no donuts o tabemas des. This is like saying Shunsuke every day eats three donuts for breakfast is. You don't need that last is, it's just not necessary. In the second bad example, then we have tabe des. This is not normal. Either. Make sure that you're not throwing on des to mas, and that includes the negative masen. So you can't say masen des, mashta des, am, and masen des ta des. Oh! So, after today's lesson, you will be able to say by what means an action occurred, but let's see what you hopefully already know how to do, anyways. You can say that something happened, you can say who did it. What was verbed, the direct object of a sentence, you can also say when it happened, who the action happened with, then by the end of this lesson, you'll be able to say by what means something happened. You'll be able to say how you ate it, like did you use a fork to eat it, did you use chopsticks to eat it. You'll be able to say that kind of stuff, super easy. I ate bread yesterday together with Ken using chopsticks. Question Am I a weeb because I eat with chopsticks? You know, it's not an easy answer, but if you're asking me, probably. But the other things you do don't help either. For example, you don't want to do these things. At least, if you're going to do them, do them when you're 200% sure you're alone. All right, so now, de is what we're going to put after the means which we do something. So, for example, in English, we could say, I ate sushi. Using chopsticks. In English, using came before chopsticks. However, in Japanese,、uh, de comes after the word for chopsticks, which is hashi. Hashi. So, if you wanted to say I ate sushi using chopsticks,、um, it would be boku wa hashi de sushi o tabemashita. Now, in this situation, we use the word using.、Um, however, in English, we use a lot of different prepositions. Usually,、uh, which in Japanese all get translated as de. For people learning English, this might actually be really confusing. However, with Japanese, it's super easy because whenever you are marking something as the means or method for completing an action, then it's always going to be de. All of these different words. With, by, on are going to be translated as de in these sentences. So let's look at a couple of couple more examples. Like if I wanted to say on a smartphone, or in other words, using a smartphone, it would be smaho de. If I wanted to say with a computer, or on a computer, or using a computer, it would be kompyuta de. If I wanted to say with a cell phone, it would be keitai de. And of course, you can say, Keitai den wa de as well.、Um, you can say, in a letter, which would be, Tegami de. All right. So, so we're going to take those phrases that you just saw and then throw them into a bigger sentence. So that way you can see how they're used、uh, in a full sentence. Okay. We're going to do A together as sort of like an example. And then I'm going to leave it all up to you. 
to answer B, C, and D by yourselves. Feel free to pause the video after we do A together, and you'll also see the answers later on. So, um, in A, uh, we see that we have the word you, and it's in parentheses. So we know it's going to be implied, so we can leave out all the anatta stuff. We already know that saying anatta isn't really common in Japanese. If they're going to say you, they're going to say usually a person's name, actually, instead of saying the word you. Because this sentence is about us, we know the subject already, so let's leave that out too. And we're just going to jump straight into saying the means and the verb. Okay, the verb is will contact. And will contact means, in Japanese, benraku Then. This uh, is a really convenient word. You can use uh, the verb with any of the items that we're going to be practicing today. So that's why we're using that. And the first item is smartphone. So let's go ahead and break that down. We know the subject usually comes first in Japanese, but it's implied in this one, so we're going to leave it out. Let's go ahead and now throw in the means. And so it's on my smartphone. So you could say, Watashi no smaho de. Or, you know, maybe we want to even leave out the my stuff and just say, smaho de or smartphone de. And then let's say we'll contact. It's renraku shimasu. Put it all together and you have, smartphone de renraku shimasu. Like that. All right. Now's the time to pause the video and. Try to figure out B through E by yourselves and resume it when you're ready to see the answers. Ready to see those answers? Here we go. Okay, you're gonna wanna pause the video again and check your answers um, if you did the activity. So hopefully that helps with your Japanese. That's all for today's lesson. It was a lot of fun being able to talk about the particle day with you. And I look forward to seeing you guys in a future lesson. Sore dewa. Mata oishimashou. Janni.